uh, in chapter 66 I want to uh, give you an example uh, what um, problem you can have if your accuracy is not large enough here in the previous section I have recommended to do this but if not what happens or in other case if you have an inaccuracy which this could cause really big problems uh, so far that you, your closed loop system can be unstable accuracy of um, PID algorithm Uh, in this example, I uh, start again with our example from previous lesson. Q0 uh, was 22.22, 22. Q1 was negative 42.2, and Q2 was 20.0. Uh, 20 so this is the values coming from... Uh, coming from the PID values um, K is 2.2 Ti is 1.1 second Td is 90.9 millisecond and sampling time is 10 millisecond so far now what happens if Q1 is changed in my example uh, changed uh, by error of I add 0.5 percent uh, that means instead the rather small change instead of negative 42.2 uh, I use now negative 42.411 it is the value if I increase the value here of 0.5 percent then I get 42.411 um, yeah how can I find out what happens it uh, is a Q change uh, Q1 new say is negative 42.411 uh, I, I give you a way where uh, I now can calculate new active values of my parameters yeah? in the queues these parameters are hidden and the, the trick is now I show you a way where I can take three queues and recalculate the k's and t's and then you will see the ti is dramatically changed how can this work very simple I uh, remember the well-known equations q0 is k times 1 plus sampling time divided by ti plus differentiation time constant divided by t0 q1 is k times negative 1 plus 2 times td over t0 these are the equations um, of the PID design of chapter 6 q2 is k times t d over t zero. So you have three equations, three equations with yeah. If q one, q two, and q uh, zero is given, then you can solve these equations to the now new values of k, t i, and t d. Solving to t i, t d, and um, K. I have done this, so I give you the results, uh, resulting in the following equations. I think uh, I make a copy of the uh, results in my paper. So I have copied the results of page 16. As you see, K is just negative Q1 minus 2 times negative Q2 and so on. So you can put now the Q values with our changed Q1 into these expressions and especially uh, for my ti i want to show you here the ti result uh, the last of the three equations is very important here i put now in my calculated k value 
sampling time is, ten, uh, is still 10 milliseconds divided by the sum of the queues. And here you can see the sum of the queues. What is this? Let's check. It's a good indication. Um, sum of the queues is sum of the QI is Q0 plus Q1 plus Q2. And note, if I look on my equations here, if I add all three Qs, you see this 1 times K is in, deleted with negative 1 times K. This K times TD over T0 plus K times TD over 0 is extinguished with a negative, oh, here's a, here's a negative sign error. Oh, 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 negative sign error. Please forgive me. Here must be a negative sign. 2 positive TD over T0 is minus 2 times TD over T0 here also are completely deleted. So finally, the sum of the three Qs is K times TO divided by TI. And this leads finally to uh, this last equation. You can easily see this. And this is a small value. Yeah, and you know, if I change one Q very uh, with a small change here with 0.5% change, then this can be a dramatical change. And if I do this and put my numbers into this equation, uh, then I get a Ti which is <coughs> uh, negative. Negative value and just I look into my uh, script. Uh, the result is negative 0.126. Negative Ti. That is very important because <coughs> this very small change caused a more than 100% change of Ti. The small change 0.5 seconds caused yeah, a rather big change in Ti and the problem is if Ti, the change is in that direction so that Ti goes smaller or into the negative region then your loop uh, becomes unstable. Uh, negative Ti in a <coughs> PID controller closed loop system uh, leads to unstable loop. And that uh, is a very important thing I want to mention. A very small thing can dramatically make your complete digital system unable to work. Uh, and unstable loops are not that what you really want because then you have for loss you lose the control. Okay. Yeah, now I start a new chapter 6.7 in my paper. Uh, improved FRA design of digital PID dirt effects. That is the headline of this chapter. The basic behind this is the following. Uh, we have uh, taken a PID differential equation and calculate an algorithm with our well-known three Qs. Um, if we replace our analog PID now with this digital one, realize with the computer and ADC card and DAC card and so on, then the behavior of this is different to our original PID. And the differences uh, I can estimate and I can find uh, clear physical models for the differences and the idea is I make not an FRA design in traditional way I uh, can I, I know that this controller should be realized as a digital one then I can put into my original design that parts of my digital system which influence um, dynamical behavior and that is the way I want to do so I try to find in other words I try to find an analog replacement of a digital PID and then this analog replacement can be uh, the replacement in my analog design FRA design just normally is a analog controller and uh, for example the Rexy sharp design 
only can design an analog system. But if I now find behaviors of my digital system uh, with analog representation, then I can optimize my analog FRA design. That is a trick. And you will see three main influences which can change the analog FRA design. Uh, I get the replacement of my digital PID comes with three new blocks. I want to show you in three points what happens here in my digital system. First is very simple. Uh, a digital system has a calculation time and conversion time, which uh, yeah, behaves like uh, delay time blocks. Then we have a sample and hold mechanism. We have to investigate what happens with the sample and hold mechanism in my dynamical behavior in a closed loop system. And note that my PID, which I use for the starting point, is an ideal one with an infinity large step depth with no PT1 effect. And I will show you that the control algorithm of the digital uh, controller behaves like a, not a PID, but a PID T1. It has now a, a definite step depth which I can estimate. That's the points, the next three points of my improved FRA design. And for this, I yeah, use the step response of this and try to find an analog model which has similar or equal step response of my digital PID. Okay, that's the way. Uh, look into my writing 6.7 um, analog uh, replacement of digital PID. Uh, a little bit change in the naming, but I think this could be better in the uh, under understood. Um, I just repeat the step response of digital, digital PID. We have calculated in an example, there was a starting impulse, Q0, then there was a step back to proportional part and then a ramp effect. So this is the step response of a digital PID. Um, let's have a quick look into the workbook page 16. In workbook from a control system one lecture, you see a row with a PID, with our ideal PID, and for a realistic PID T1, which has an additional PT1 uh, as uh, their a good replacement of uh, you know, PT1 behavior of hardware. You see the step response here has a direct impulse in terms of this ramp and P part, and the PIDT1 has not a direct impulse but an impulse with limited amplitude. And this amplitude is calculatable with controller gain times step depth. Controller gain times step depth instead of direct impulse. Okay, we Start with this analog one, convert into a digital one, and the digital one has a limited amplitude. So this can be used to estimate the step depths of my digital controller. That is the next, the first step. Yeah. So we say, okay, I use, um, I use a replacement which behaves like this. That is the analog replacement. Um, so um, what we can do is uh, I write a peak of digital PID after step is Q0 times, of course, this was a unit step response times the W0 value of the ampli input amplitude and the uh, analog 
analog peak value is KC, KR in the paper, KC. That's a controller gain, the Bode plot controller gain uh, times step depth, of course, times W0, depending, peak depends on the reference step amplitude, that is clear. So, now I set Q0 equal to KC step depth. That is the way step depth times KC is equal Q0. I note that Q0 is K times 1 plus sampling time divided by Ti plus difference uh, differentiating time constant divided by sampling time. So this is an equation where I calculate the step depths of my digital controller. Step depth of my digital PID. A good equation. Let's check if this equation is useful, if I can work with these step depths or if I have any other problems. Yeah? I solve this and say, okay, my step depths is um, Q0 divided by Kc. Um, okay, that means if I'm ready with the design and I have calculated the digital Q0, I divide by my Kc, which is available after design, then I have these step depths. But if the problem is, this step depth uh, has to be uh, available before design, not after design. Um, if, if you look into the design method of FRA, then you should remember that the step depth is asked really in the beginning of the design. Here, uh, only okay, calculatable after design. In design, it is used uh, in the beginning of the design. But then this value is not available. So what what can we do? We can make an iterative design. So make an analog design, calculate Q0 divided by Kc, calculate the step depths, repeat the design with the new step depths, get new Q0, new Kc, get a new step depth, and then make this new one and do this uh, as long as the step depths and uh, the step depth value ends up in a constant final value. This is rather time consuming, and I give you a method where the step depths can estimate it in one step. We need a one step design and not an iterative uh, FRA design because this is very time consuming. Yeah? So I give you some approximations. Approximations to get step depths. Uh, in the beginning of the design. That leads to a one-step design. Other things are not useful. Okay, we use knowledge. Q0 is given. Q0 is replaced with our um, Q0 equation coming from our uh, design of PID algorithm. So far, this uh, is a good idea to show you what happens now with the values. In this type, Ti is also rather late in our design, but you know this uh, middle value of the Q0 is very small, so in this case the uh, first approximation is I neglect the integration part because this is not necessary in this design. Second, uh, K and KC, K is the uh, parallel form Bode, uh, K value and KC is a Bode plot form value and there is an equation between K and KC 
uh, which we have learned in uh, further step in previous steps uh, k is kc multiplied with tn plus tv divided by tn and td also can be replaced with tn times tv divided by tn plus tv so this are the uh, c workbook one yeah look into the equations of the pid analog controller now i replace this k with this kc you see k contains kc so this k then can be eliminated and that's good because k is the last result of fra design we don't need k anymore for the calculation of step response that is good and the final value for my step depths with this neglection and this replacement is step uh, black let's go back to black color um, step 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 ah, one um, step steps is k and kc eliminated uh, resulting in tn plus tv over tn coming from uh, this expression then the parenthesis the quantity here within the parenthesis comes is one plus and td over t0 the td is replaced now with uh, tn tv divided by tn plus tv multiplied with one over sampling time so uh, if we factor this out we see this is tn plus tv divided by tn one times prefactor and here this time this leads in just a tv value tv divided by sampling time so we have now an estimation where we need tn and tv and tv okay tn and tv uh, and the sampling time and then we can calculate step steps we are a step further because in this equation no k is uh, necessary but note i need the step depths if i before i can get the tn value so tn is normally not known in the design it's the second step in the design the first step is i select tv i select sampling time and then i can design the pd part of my pid t1 controller remember the steps of fra design in control system one lecture so last step is normally um, tn is largest this pole conversation right? largest process time constant that what i here repeat is that is that what we know under under pole conversation now the time constants of the controller are selected according to the uh, time constants of the process uh, this is the second largest uh, process time constant so tn is always larger than tv and you see and tv is mostly larger than t0 so this is a uh, this is a large number and this is yeah if tn is larger than tv this is near to one a uh, little bit larger than one uh, so that the without any big problems uh, say okay this first factor is very approximately to one because this second factor is much larger than one so we finally get an estimation for the step depths step depths is round about one plus tv over t0 this is my step depths approximation which is useful use in fra design and this is the best thing what you can do the 
Next two steps follows will follow in the next video.